figure I'd be recording this much in this one session. Um, I think I need to break all of the lights for this one. Okay, now I need to go here and be like, press the button. Oh. And that- this is a bitchy thing. I never initially thought this was a thing you could stand on, but yeah. There's a purple-haired girl having a seizure while watching something. Not special. Screenshot time! Yeah, um, you want to reverse time there. A bunch of bunnies rush in, and they will kill you instantly if they touch you. They've got the hots for bunny or something, I don't know. But you they you do not want them to touch you. Bunny doll. That was not me, by the way. The game just does that, and it's for reasons that you will see later on. Or maybe you won't notice, honestly. Yeah, time stop doesn't really help you there. What you want to do is get as close to the end as you can, and then reverse time. So the bunnies go back in the thingy dingy. Oh, frig. Um. Yeah. There was a purple gate here, but it was in front of the thing I could put my orb on. Not that I had my orb put it on anyway. And we're supposed to turn back and be like, oh, we can't go this way yet. I need to get my orb or something. But then you go back and there's that weird quote-unquote glitch. And then you come back and you notice that thing is gone. And you won't actually know why it's gone until the second playthrough. Or at least if you actually notice you need to be fairly observant, but uh, I'll point it out when I do it. I do ah, plan to do that playthrough too, even though I don't like the second playthrough as much. The second character does not play nearly as fun as Bunny. Bunny is my main bunny. Okay, I don't want to do this in the dark. Also, a neat trick if you... Um, yeah, that's better anyway. Oh, and a save. Um, if the game gets completely dark, if you turn up the brightness on your monitor, you can still actually see. I just noticed with my... Um, I was playing on my laptop at the time, and it looks like it turns completely black, but it does not. There's a way to get... There we go. We can get in here for no real reason. Well, there is a reason. This is how many times you have died. There are two counters like this. I think this is your death one. Um, there's another one. I don't know what it is. But yeah, the game keeps track of all of your deaths throughout the entire game. Also, this is a one-way thing, so don't actually go that way. Because we don't need to right now. And trust me, that number is much higher on my laptop, where I've played the game previously. Playing on my desktop now, which does not have my... We're going to say it just because I got that bunny doll. Also, a sort of neat touch, these guys' light balls actually light up the map. to come down there. Wait, are those spikes fake? Yes, there are sometimes fake spikes, by the way. Okay, those spikes are not fake! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, my monitor 
turned off again at the worst possible time, as usual. There! That's what it is. Not crazy, I knew there was something there. save all of the things because my time's going to be terrible anyway. It's almost already an hour. I should at least be at the final boss by now, but I'm doing all of this exposition and haven't played the game in forever and dying and all that stuff. Strange. It seems like something lives here. Whatever. Just hurry past. Sure it looks like a boss area, doesn't it? Oh well. I'm sure it's nothing. And there's a really neat aspect of this game is the second playthrough um, is actually played chronologically. It is concurrent with the first playthrough. Oh, fucking shit. It's Leaf. Um, Leaf is... Oh. I shouldn't have pressed that last button. Um, the Leafs only appear when the lights are on, so it's actually a very good reason to not... The fat girl head things of the Leafs, by the way. They only appear when the lights are on at the brightest, so they're actually a reason to not hit all the light switches. There we go. Plus, there is actually something that happens here if we turn off all the lights. The generator powers up for some unknown reason. And we get a life power up. And we are already at max life. Ouch. And yeah, you get max life way before max time. You will max out your time, though. Unicorn's gem. Yay. Fake spikes. Real spikes. Oh man, this one's a bitch. Okay. Um, what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, the, the two playthroughs are actually played chronologically um, at the same time. So you'll actually notice that things you do in the first playthrough that don't make sense actually make sense because of stuff you do in the second playthrough. Also, this room is really freaking tricky to do. I'm surprised I did one go through just now. But I have done the room like... Definitely more than four times. I think I've beaten the whole game six times now. I'm pretty sure you actually want that set to on. I don't need to save. Totally no boss there. I forget if there is actually a reason to turn on the lights. Because I had forgotten about the leaves. They are annoying. I have the worst weapon to take care of them. If they get too close, they explode. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, seriously. Also, this area is really freaking fun to run through and just do the run kicks and go through as fast as you can. Very, very fun. Also, there are only a couple of rooms with the explosive leaf characters. I think. Wait, no, maybe they're just everywhere. Never mind, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm get the light sword again. Leaf is a recurring character in Platinated Spot F's games that consistently explodes. She's always a kamikaze thing character. And we can activate this now. Um, and this thing... This completely confused me. Um, lots of people say to just bum rush and use your time reverse. But what actually happens... Let's have that happen again. I don't know if you can hear that, but... When you get hit by the blue flames... Crap. That was not what I meant to do. When you get hit by the blue flames, a door closes at the end of that hallway. 
And you can time reverse to move it, to open it up again. What you're supposed to do is run in. Crap. Bounce off the dolphins. Whatever. What up? Booster. Oh, right. You gotta do it during a dash. The risk there is the door will close again after you get the item, but since you got the time power up, it'll fully replenish your time, so it's not a big risk. Here is the time slow. It actually drains your time really slowly, so it's very useful to do lots of tricky stuff. I just never think to do it because I'm stupid. Also, do not forget to get your yellow orb. You really need that. Oh! We get to read a sign. It says it is too dark to read the sign. I thought that was awesome. If you don't remember, it originally said it is too dark to read the sign. Like, not as sign text. Just... Yeah. I thought it was funny. Shut up. Not sure why malls or morning stars or whatever you want to call these, the spike mace thingy dingies, they're called hammers in Japanese games a lot, and I don't really know why. Because like, I've heard them called malls and maces and um, um, morning stars, but. This is actually tricky. You have to reverse time, normal time, reverse time again. Just a neat little mini puzzle there. And you can break these. If spikes are in a tricky spot, always try and break them. Sometimes you can break them. Also, fun thing, if you stand around here, a UFO comes to try to abduct you. And there's actually an achievement for having that happen, but it also actually does kill you. So, we're going to spare Bunny her probing fate and just continue on with the game. Probing time will be later! And this is a dick move. You try to press your thing down, it's not a bug? <laughs> what was that voice just now? Yeah. Initially, you try to put down your red thing here, and it doesn't work. So you go down and you get the yellow orb, it still doesn't work. But then you notice, hey, there's something obscuring my vision here. Well, fuck. Yeah, that's kind of mean. And other bunnies trying to murder me. This bunny on bunny violence has to stop. Also, they can still move when you stop time, so don't even try it. Because they are bunnies, and bunnies control time. Which, you know, is completely obvious true facts. Also, I think you can get trapped in there, so, so don't get trapped in there. And I tried to get into that door thing for the longest time. I think that's only available to the second character, so don't mess with it. Oh, um, crap. I forget which weapon I want. A series of mini-bosses here. What you gotta do is kill all of the baby pumpkins in a certain time limit. And I failed to do that. And then Kingpin Pumpkin Guy becomes vulnerable. Also, your attacks will break the floor over the spikes, so be careful. Yeah, and he does some minor bullet hell attacks here. Ow. You actually really want the... You really want to have the um, the self shooter, the daggers, when you do this. So the other attacks aren't very good. Also, you really want an item that I have not gotten yet, which is very useful, and it just changes the way Bunny operates very much, and also changes Bunny in a very special way. We'll we'll see that later. Um, and don't even bother trying to kill them in this mode, just dodge. 
friggin' monitor. Okay. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, for friggin' come on! Also, I swear there's a way to heal by using time power. I think. But I do not remember for the life of me how. It's probably that fourth time power that I completely skipped. Because I'm stupid. Like the text. I skipped the text for it. But yeah, this guy is easier with... For one thing, he's easier with that item that I need to get after I do this. Um, but he's easier with a self-shooter a little bit. Otherwise, he's not incredibly difficult, but just monotonous. He dies twice as fast if you use the other... that special item. You will see what is special about it. What was that horse shit? I killed the four things. He should have gone into whatever retard mode. Also, sometimes your stupid boomerangs are stupid and they chase after you and damage the floor tiles, which is just freaking fabulous. Yeah. Not happy about that. Ugh. Also, lots of enemies shoot what is commonly referred to as candy corn bullets. Those are another common platinate to spot it thing. I killed all four of them, you jackhole! You are a hole of jacks, okay? That's all I gotta say to you. You and your jackholing ways. Ugh. This is the worst frickin' weapon for this stupid boss. There are three bosses like this. This is the most annoying, in my opinion. Because of the stupid shield bullshit. It really, really annoys me and takes for friggin' ever. I really should have just cancelled, uh, like, gone out to the save thing, but so I could change weapons. But I don't want to do that, because I've already got my bunny dolls, and my rule is. Once I have bunny dolls, I no longer allow myself to save, to use my saves as a, you know, as an extra life. Because I don't need to do that. But. Oh well. This way lets me share the pain of my initial fight with this guy. Which was pretty much exactly like this. Well, many, many deaths. And this is one of those games that is very, very fun to replay repeatedly, which I obviously have done. So it's got a surprising amount of replay value for what can be a really short game. I'll probably be finishing it in... This will probably be a two-hour total. And I didn't get a shot off. Die, you... First, is there something I can get? Nah. Right, we are going to go get that special thing. What's up, other bunny? How do they get awesome giant swords? Oh god. Why didn't I use the stupid save point? I swear there's a way to use your time to heal yourself. Also, the other bunnies hurt a lot. Also, my only gripe with the PlayStation controller is the D-pad. Um, particularly for extended play sessions, it is not comfortable to use. Also, that, that, um, that thing is a shortcut, but it leads to spikes, so don't... Take that shortcut. 
Unless you like spikes up your butt. If you like spikes up your butt, you are weird. Also, don't run through this thing, because that, well, if you do run, run whole hog, but you can fall through that super platform. Which is mean. Also, screw you, Time Cat. That's right. I said it. Is there any special item in this chair? Nah. And yeah, you don't have to do the puzzle the second time, you can just go down through. We're getting Spike Hammer. It's good if we need that, but grab it anyway. I don't think I need the blue or the green orb to do this. But do I'm going to be upset. Just, just a little upset. Because that will mean I have wasted a lot of time. But I I distinctly recall having the item I'm going to get before doing before fighting this boss. Also, this is a fairly tricky shortcut to get to, but it does save some time and lets you keep your orb. I forget if that is actually useful, like keeping the orb, but ah, shit. Also, note you have to face the direction of the wall you want to jump off of. Oh, right. That is how you do that. First things first. This door is open now. And you cannot hurt the spike balls. You can't bounce off them, though. And don't think about messing with time, because Time Cat's here! Isn't he a smug little bastard? We're gonna wipe that smirk off your face, Time Cat. That's what I thought. Bunny doll! Also, I don't know if there's an easy way out of that. Like, I assume there's a way to fall through the floor, but I always just make sure to run. So if you see a lift that's not moving, that means it falls when you stand on it. There's a way to get into that bunny doll up here, but I forget how. Might be a hidden switch or some shit. You need to die, yeah. The spike camera can be tricky to aim. You can't aim it directionally in the air. Just left and right. Ah. My fingers are weird now. I apologize. There it is. Yeah, uh, after I get the item, I'm gonna go ahead and stop playing for a bit. The... I guess I've been playing for a little while, actually. Shoot! And meanly enough, that it's not actually easy to triple jump up those those pillars there. Also, despite how it looks, there is actually a timed gate in front of the bunny doll. Which is controlled by this thing. These walls are just total trolls. Got that bunny doll. As you can see, we, despite numerous failings, I still have 10 bunny dolls. So, if you know to, where to get the bunny dolls, you've got enough lives for the game. Um, at least after the first playthrough. Your first playthrough is going to be, of course, relatively painful. Why are we going all the way back here, you say? <laughs> to die! That's why we're coming back here. Son of a bitch. Really wish I could remember how to get, well, turn my time into health. Also, that's kind of a bitch you jump to do in reverse. 
Oh, and Spike Hammer kills all normal enemies in one hit, so that is nice. It also breaks through certain defenses. My thing fell asleep again. Okay. okay good. There is a save before this. Also, you can destroy the fire shots just by hitting them with a the normal attack. Good. We just need you just need the yellow orb to get in here. Get ready to use time powers in this, because that switch seriously is um Oh crap. There we go. That is our goal. I might be doomed. Oh nah, I got I got health. Dynamite body! Down in time to engage dynamite mode. Your attacks are doubled, and you deal. Um, you take half as much damage. The problem is you are not as mobile because this bunny's tits are made of steel, apparently. Ow. Um, like, <laughs> I love the the massive thump she makes when she lands. Um. Surprisingly, it does not increase the damage from when you fall on enemies, which does not make any freaking sense, because weight is really all she's gained here. But instead, she throws two of most weapons, like, some of them she just shoots in two directions. Um, the daggers she actually shoots two of, so it's just a straight damage increase. And it's a straight damage increase for the, um, what am I trying to say? For the light sword, too. It just, it turns a different color and does double damage. And an annoying thing about this power is that you do damage to blocks from falling now. So if you land on a breakable block, you'll break through it. Which can actually occasionally help you find secrets, but usually it just helps you find death. So it is really pretty rare that it actually matters. Ow. An annoying thing, if you didn't notice, you can't jump as high on your first jump in this mode, even when you're doing run jumps or jump kicks actually too. So that is annoying, but if you jump twice, you'll jump normal bunny height. These are the platforms you need to be careful on when using the dynamite body. I always want to call it the bunny suit, because that's how the FAQ, that's what the FAQ called it. But it doesn't make sense to call it the bunny suit, because she was wearing a bunny suit before. I forgot the orb. I forgot the orb. Son of a butt. Okay, I'll get the orb for the next video. Uh, remember to go to Steam Greenlight, and go say you would, you would buy this game. Because you would buy this game, wouldn't you? Because... If you don't buy this game, the terrorists win. Like, seriously, this game's awesome. It needs to be on Steam. Help make it happen.